All right. Hello and happy, happy Tuesday. My name is Wendy Lee and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. I am super excited that you're joining me at my Creatively Your Studio for a little bit of paper crafting fun today. So let's just double check. Make sure that we are in the correct place, right? You know how that can be. All right. I believe, I believe, I believe we are in the right place. Maybe. Don't see comments yet. The view on Facebook just always, always makes it difficult, doesn't it? Maybe not for you guys, but I want to make sure I can see you and that I'm in the right place. Aha, I found you. Perfect. All right, good deal. So I've got everyone. So what are we doing today? Yay! Okay, I have decided to show you. So our new catalog, new annual catalog starts today. So it is the 2021-2022 annual catalog. And it is packed full of awesomeness, as you can only imagine. So I wanted to showcase one of our new suites, the Simply Elegant Suite. Um, I think in my unboxing video, I showed you a few of those products, but I have a stunning, stunning birthday card to show you today. So hopefully let me switch my view so I can make sure I'm in camera. So this is the card we're doing. Isn't that beautiful? Just all that foil, Woo! and it's a fun fold. Yay, we love a fun fold. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make this. It's actually super, super easy. Um, so it's not gonna take us very long to do it. So ready to get started? I'm gonna switch my video over. Let's switch the camera. All right. And make sure that my other screen is on, which likes to shut off on me. And it did, darn it. Shut off on me again. Well, we'll see if I can get it back up. All right, refreshing, it's back on. Yay, okay. Whew, finally, we can get going here. Hey Gwen, so glad you're here today. All right, so like I said, we're gonna feature some products from the Simply Elegant product suite. So it starts with this Simply, or, or the Elegantly Said stamp set. So this has got some really nice um, fonts. It's got birthday and anniversary, just an amazing thank you for you, love stories. It's really, really nice. I really like this scroll image here. Um, lots of fun there. So very nice. And then it has this coordinating punch. Oh, the glare is probably terrible. Um, Maybe you can see better on the other side. I don't know. We'll punch one out and you'll see it. So today we're going to use the punch as it is. I'm not going to do any crazy extending of the label or anything, but we'll do that another day. Okay. So I also want to show you the Simply Elegant Designer Series paper. Oh my gosh. This is an awesome paper pack. Oh, it looks like I glue cricket. <laughs> anyway. Awesome, awesome paper pack. So you've got foil designs on, on one side of the papers, and then you've got um, some really nice prints on the other side of the papers, and it coordinates with black, basic gray, copper, gold, silver, and very vanilla. So some gorgeous, gorgeous papers that you're gonna get your hands on, and you can do that as part of my paper share. So each new catalog, I do a catalog share, which gives you a sampling, and you can choose designer papers, the end color um, and color family stacks, I guess you could say, or the ribbons, or you can get them all and have all of the goodies and you just get a sampling of each. So the papers are cut to six by six and you get one of each. So you get six sheets and then uh, the ribbons are cut into two yard lengths. So awesome. So that registration, I'll have the link in the description. So um, the way I go live on the Facebook, um, they've made some changes. So I can't actually um, put everything in the description before I start the video, but I will go after back after the video and update the description so that you've got the complete supply list and cut dimensions for this awesome project today. Okay, great. All right. So again, this is the beautiful, stunning card we're making. And then it fun folds this fold up like this. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Ready? All right, let's bring in our paper trimmer. We will start there. Make sure I'm in camera and I'm sorry about the glare, the ring light 
not always friendly there. All right, so I want to see if I can push this up a little bit. I might mess with my light, but I wanna make sure you guys can see. All right, perfect. So I've got a piece of basic black cardstock, five and a half by eight and a half, and I folded it in half, ran my bone folder on it. So the tricky part, or not tricky, but the uh, fun fold part of this you're gonna create, we are gonna slide this in and put one end in at the half inch mark. And I'm gonna cut from the fold line just on the front of the card base right there at a half inch. So we've slit the front at a half inch. I'm gonna go to the other side and I want to do the same thing, but at one and a half. So I've got it at one and a half inches. So this is the front of my card now because I rotated it. I'm gonna go from that fold line and cut. So basically I'm cutting my front apart is what's happening here. So hopefully that makes sense. You guys can see that okay. Hey Jennifer, hey Kay, so glad you guys are here as well. I hope you guys like this one today. I love it, it's so pretty. I actually made this card for an upcoming swap that I'm in. Um, so one of the cool things as a demonstrator is that we get to participate in swaps with other demonstrators where we make projects and we, we uh, trade all that fun stuff. Hopefully I'm not making you nauseous by adjusting the camera there. But um, it's very cool that we get to do that. And um, so this is a card that I've created for a upcoming swap. So my team, we do swaps every month and we have different themes each month. So Jennifer Hamlin, who's on the team is our swap coordinator. So she manages all of that and comes up with fabulous things for us to try each month. So if you'd love to join us for a team swap sometime, I'd love for you to join our team. We've got a special going on this month where when you join, you get an extra $30 in free product. So that is just awesome. So the starter kit's $99 and you get $155 in product. Woohoo! awesome. All right, so I'm gonna glue these flaps down. So I'm just gonna close these up and I'm just using my stamp and seal. I'm just gonna glue that right down to the card base so that only this center section that I cut away is going to be moving, I guess you could say, or opening. Great. All right, perfect. So I'm actually gonna start with the inside of the card and then we'll decorate the outside because I think that's a little, I don't know if it's easier or harder or not, but it's, it's just what I'm doing. All right, so I got a piece of uh, basic white. Now you could use vanilla if you prefer. I just chose um, white for this particular card, but the coordinating colors of the designer paper is actually vanilla, but I don't know if that really matters. Based on the paper I'm using, I don't think it matters. Hey, Miss Mary, so glad you're here today to join us. All right, so I'm gonna bring in a scrap. I know that makes it harder to see, but I need to do that to be able to um, stamp off here on the edge here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm bringing in this floral image here and my Versamark pad. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that up in the corner and we're gonna do a little heat embossing. Who doesn't love heat embossing? It's just beautiful and it goes great with this paper. All right, so I've got my floral image stamped up at the top and let's bring in our copper, yay, copper embossing fold, uh, powder. So our embossing powders are now sold by a metallics group or a basics group. So you can get copper, gold, and silver all in one little package now, which I think is great. So move that out of the way. So I've dipped it in the powder and it's sticking only to where I have stamped. And then now bring in my heat tool. Now I have an old, old, old Stampin' Up heat tool, super old. Like I've dropped it, it's cracked, the tip is exposed. Probably the most dangerous thing out there, right? But if you purchased a new heat tool, this would be covered. You've got two heat settings. Um, so it works fabulously. I just haven't, mine still works. So why replace it, right? So we're just gonna let this heat up and it's going to melt our powder. We only want to do it until it turns shiny. So just moving it slowly around. Is that not cool? Love, 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 love embossing. I think it's so cool. 
Oh, good, Kathy, I'm glad that you like this one. Thank you for sharing, very pretty. Oh, Mary, you like my polish? Okay, so this is not normal for me to wear um, a darker color on my hands, especially when my nails are little nubbins. But we had a girlfriend day on a Sunday with some neighbors and we all went and had our nails done. And so I decided to be a little bold, go a little bold that day. So here we have purple. <laughs> we'll see how long I keep it on before I pick my polish off. So I'm stamping this sentiment, wishing you a wonderful birthday, just in Memento Black Ink. Sorry, I didn't tell you that. I get chatting, right? All right, and then we're going to adhere this right into our card base, just with a little stamp and seal. And then the inside's ready to go. You got plenty of space to write a little note. If you need more space to write a note, you could put it on this top flap as well. You could add another white layer. Isn't that pretty? Love, 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 love the embossing. All right, so now let's make our outside of our card as fabulous as the inside of the card, right? All right, so I started off with the designer paper and I've actually already pre-cut this, but I'll show you how I did it or what I used really. Okay, so I use the ornate, I think these are the ornate layers. Ornate layers dies, yes. This stitched rectangle I use quite often. It's longer than the rectangles. It's a skinny long version of the rectangles that are in the stitched rectangle dies, which I love as well. But this one sometimes is a nice one to have this longer stitched rectangle. So I just cut out three of those stitched rectangles out of the designer series paper. So you can see those right here, cute. And I'm simply going to just adhere them to this front flap of this card, right? Nothing crazy. So let's go ahead and put these down. I'm gonna use stamp and seal. You could use liquid adhesive if you prefer. And I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this and I'm looking at these three edges here, trying to get my spacing somewhat similar. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's all gonna be beautiful in the end, right? All right, so let me repeat this. I gotta turn this. I don't know about you guys. Do you have to turn your cards um, as you're creating just because the orientation works better for your hands? I do that often. All right, and then let's add this third one. Whoops, add this third one on. And I'm just gonna try to center it best that I can between those two. And it doesn't matter if the spacing's the same or not. Isn't that pretty? Just adding little strips of paper. Love it, love it, love it. Hey, Miss Mary McKay, glad you're here. All right, so that just adds a big pop, I think, to the card front here. Now, this product suite also has this fabulous gold um, cord. It's really, really fun. I love it. But before I go there, I think I'm going to go ahead and punch. I've got a scrap of um, black cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and use the punch. So let me grab that. Let's not knock over the embossing powder. So our punches, you know, they lock. So you got to unlock them to open them. And then actually, this is the handle and this is the part that you push into. So the front. So let's use it upside down so we can see what we're punching. And I'm just going to slide this right in. And then you can squeeze it to punch it. Now, if you've got arthritis in your hands or you have a hard time um, squeezing, you can lay this flat and literally just lay on it and it will punch that out for you. So it works either way. I like it. And then to, to close it for storage so it doesn't take up so much space, you just squeeze that and slide that lock. And then now you can put it away. And it's got the little image on the end so you know exactly what it is when it's on your shelf. It's great, right? Okay, so I can adhere this right on the card front. And I think I'm gonna use some black dimensionals for that. Da, da, da. So have you guys gotten into the new catalog yet and looked at all the fabulousness in it? If you don't have a copy of the catalog and you need one, please shoot me a note and um, we can get you one, get one out to you. If you've placed an order with me, a $50 or more order with me in the past six months, I send it to you for free. If not, um, there'll be a little bit of a charge. It's costing me about $6, a little under $6 to mail them this year. Um, but I definitely want you to have one if you, if you want one. 
All right, so we've got the label down. I think before I continue this focal point, let's go ahead and add our copper strips to the side. So I've got a quarter inch strip, or maybe it's three eighths. I think it's three eighths now that I said that. Yep, three eighths inch strip here and a one and three eighths inch strip here. Again, I will make sure all of the measurements, um, I'm gonna use a liquid glue on this one. I'm gonna make sure all the measurements are out there for you in the video description afterwards. Make sure you've got everything you need. So I got a little crazy. I decided to switch to liquid adhesive because of how narrow this is, but I got quite the glob down on my first bit there. All right, so when you're using foil, you just have to be careful that you don't have adhesive on your fingers when you go to press it down because it will leave that mark on the foil. If you do get it on there, you can take a Q-tip and some of our, um, uh, oh my gosh, I can't even think of the name of it. I just blanked out. Our um, stamp and mist, good grief. If you put a little stamp and mist on a Q-tip and rub that on the foil, it actually takes it off fairly nicely. Who knew, right? I think I learned that from um, Lisa Curcio years ago. All right, so that makes a huge difference once you add that gold, gold foot. Oh, Mary, you placed an order at 4 a.m. Oh my gosh, yep, I have to tell you, I was up at 3.30 myself. Um, I had to expedite some stuff because I, um, you know, we, we leave on vacation here in a few weeks, uh, next weekend actually, not this weekend but uh, I had some design work I had to get done. So I had to get my products right away. <laughs> that sounds like a great excuse, right? All right, so I'm just wrapping gold cord around this layer a couple of times, right? And then I'm gonna tie it into a bow. Now this cord can sometimes be a little hateful to tie. So it looks like I've got it all twisty and I want it a little twisty, but maybe not quite as twisty as I got it. So let me undo this, let's try again. And I didn't do it on my original card and I'm not sure I did it on any of my swap cards as I made it. But if you're having trouble getting this tight, you can always stick a glue dot down there to hold that for you while you're tying your, your bow. Does that make sense? Here, let me show that. Just in case that doesn't make sense. I'm gonna pull out a glue dot. So I'm gonna take my take your pick and pull a glue dot off here. Well, maybe I am. All right. And then let's say I want my bow about right there. I'm just gonna stick that glue dot down there. And then when I tighten this, I can lay that right where that glue dot is, push it in there. That's gonna give me almost an extra hand temporarily while I go ahead and tie this bow. So let me give me my loops here. And sorry, this is probably hard to see because it's a little and tedious. And this is not the easiest ribbon I will say to tighten. So as you're working with your bow, you might need to just let it go and let it do its thing. It can be a little wonky. It can be a little um, crazy. That's all fine and dandy. It's not gonna hurt anything. I'm gonna clip those ends off just a smidge. Not a lot, cause I want it to, you know, kind of be long. And then I can come back and I can move my ends, my sides, whichever way you wanna call that, wherever I want them to be. And I kind of want that up there. So I'm just gonna twisty it a little bit. All right, so we got our bow. Now let's finish our little sentiment there. So for that, oh good, you guys are liking it, yay. All right, so I'm bringing back in that black scrap and let's bring in the For You sentiment and the Versamark pad. Stamp that on there, nice. Now this time, instead of copper, I'm going to heat emboss with silver. So again, part of our new metallics collection. We've had gold and copper and silver before, but now they're packaged together. Separate containers, of course, right? And you guys know, I just dump mine into a plastic container because I, I find that easier to deal with in the small jars. All right, so we've dipped it in, we've shaken off the excess powder. Now let's bring our heat tool back in and emboss this. All right, awesome. Now, let me bring in the layering circles dies. So I'm gonna use the second smallest and we're gonna go run this through the machine and cut it out. 
and voila, we have a circle. All right, and then we're just gonna pop this up with the black dimensionals as well on the front. Just, you know, we could have stamped directly on that um, black and punched that out. I think that would have been pretty as well, but I thought this added a nice little uh, extra touch to it. So, all right, so loving the catalog. Do you have a huge wish list? If you have a huge wish list, we have a promotion that also started today when you're shopping. So, um, you know, you could host an online party with me if you'd like to. Let me know. We can set that up. Or you can go out and place your own order and order as much stuff as you want to. <laughs> um, once your order hits 250 US dollars, then you're going to get an additional $25 in free product to what we already get. So there's a lovely chart. Um, I can always send that to someone if they want to see it, but it's lots of extra rewards, which is fun. And of course, if your list is super long, it would save you more money to just sign up and join my team. My diamonds team, we'd love to have you, right? All right, so these are the two cards, one I made today and the one I made the other day. Cute. So I'm hoping that everybody's gonna love this swap when they get it, yes? You guys love it? Oh, you totally could make a gift card holder out of this. Yes. So you could put a pocket up here and slide it in the top, or you could even put a pocket down here. So you could have made this a folded up piece, right? And slid a gift card right down in. That would have been perfect. Or you could have done a piece across here to make a pocket, right? That would have been fun as well. So, so many things you could do. You could just glue, a couple of glue dots, put a gift card right there. All good, right? Ah, uh, yes. I love the layers as well. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that just added a nice touch and that little stitch detail. Good, good, good. Oh, I'm so glad you guys love this one. Perfect. All right. That's all I have for you today. I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful week and will come back and join me for a little bit more paper crafting next Tuesday. All right. Thanks so much and have, have a great week.